Howdy friends, welcome back. Today's video comes from Titusville, Florida, north part of Brevard County on the east central coast of Florida, up here by where the NASA space station is and all that other good stuff. We are at a local small church and today's job is to replace a water main shutoff that's on that side of the church and one that's over here on this side. This side doesn't have any shades, so we're going to be working on that one first. Let's go see what we're getting involved with. All right, well, there she is right there. Now the water shut off at the water meter. Uh, we were out here a couple weeks ago, did a bunch of work. I put those on and I don't know why they opted out of us replacing these. This thing just spins and spins and spins. I suppose I could probably tighten that packing nut up, but they don't want that. They want some nice new ball valves. So let's get started on this, see what we got to do and make the repair. One thing that you may have heard me say in other videos and stuff before, because we live in very close proximity of the Atlantic Ocean, anytime there's copper that's exposed outside, it's always usually eaten up. And a lot of times people will paint that copper and stuff in order to try to protect it from that salt air. So the only way I'm gonna end up getting uh, the paint off here, I'll show you with a pair of channel locks. All I'm doing is trying to get the most of this paint off of here, and then we'll have to hit it with uh, some sand cloth, maybe a wire brush and everything. It makes it a lot easier than just jumping in there with a pair with some sand cloth and uh, wasting your time. The channel locks will help get you right to the taste much quicker. If you look carefully underneath where we're working is AC condensation line. So just to be on the safe side, there's a scrap piece of metal water. I'm just going to lay that down over top of there so we don't drop anything down in there and then have to get it unclogged later. Let's get this valve cut. Alright, we're going to put some channel locks on there because they're pretty tight. about through the top part of here. Now it's almost like watching glue dry. But there we go. Looks like it just broke loose. All right, let's see if this thing comes up. There we go. Some water coming from the building. Um, and we'll find out whether that meter shut off all the way or not. We need to go ahead and get our copper prepped and get it all set and ready for us to solder a nice new ball valve on there. Copper's cleaning up pretty good. I think one of the things that saved it is because they did paint the copper like we talked about. It's more of a pain in the butt, but at least it's something that we can work with. It's cooking out here. It's 90 degrees in the shade. Let me show you something. You've seen me use my little auto cut tube cutters quite a bit, and I love using these things. There's only one problem. When you're working with type L copper, this is what happens when you use them. I don't know if you can see it or not. What it does after you cut the type L copper, it leaves kind of a lip on there, which makes it so I have to take a pair of channel locks and try to knock that lip down. If not, I won't be able to get fitting on there. Nice and easy. You don't want to egg shape the copper. We just want to knock that lip down some. Okay, so today we are working with a three quarter inch brass ball valve made by Wolverine Brass. You see me do videos with these guys, they're great. Uh, they're also right in and love uh, 
the support that I show them in some of these videos. And we are going to be installing one of these. I only have one of them on my van, so the other one's going to be a, a different brand. But this is what we're working with on this side. We're going to go ahead, we're going to clean both of those sides up with a wire brush. Turn that wire brush one direction, not back and forth, because you'll end up boogering up that brush. Get it nice and clean. Flip it over. Now these are new. Some of you might ask, why do you have to clean a new valve? Well, copper and brass will start tarnishing just from sitting on a shelf. So you gotta get that all knocked loose and get them little grooves in there for that solder and flux to take. We're gonna be taking this valve and we're actually gonna be putting it on the top edge so it's up off the ground a little bit more. And how we're gonna do this, we're gonna take a measure from here to close to that cut a piece of copper and put it in between there and then use a slip coupling, three quarter inch copper slip coupling to slide it between the two and solder it up. But before we do any of that stuff, as soon as we get it set in place, before we start soldering, we're gonna remove this handle so the flames do not get hot and burn the handle. All right, so we got our valve kind of just sitting there. We don't have any flux or anything like that on there. I'm gonna take a tape measure and we're gonna get that measurement so we can cut it. Looks like we're sitting right about at four and a half. I'm gonna cut that at about four so we can have room to slip that in there. And we'll have room for that slip coupling to get in there. So four inches of copper it is. All right, let's get these two ends right here nice and clean and make sure there's no lip on there like we were talking about with the Type L copper. All right, now we got this all cleaned up and stuff. Let's apply a little bit of flux right here on the one end. And it's really hot, so this flux is very, very liquefied at this point. And I'm going to slide my Wolverine brass ball valve down on top of there like so. And on the other side, we're going to take a little bit of flux. I said this stuff is really watery because of the heat. I'll end up wiping a little bit of extra that off there. We're going to take our slip coupling on the bottom end. We're going to slide that thing all the way up until it butts out. See that? That's going to go down into the piece coming out of the concrete, and that's going to go up and catch what's going into the church. All right, let's not forget about a little flux up here. Got a drop or two coming out of here, but it's on a vertical. If it was horizontal would be more of a problem of trapping water in the system there we go now before we make sure and do anything else there's no water that's coming up from the city it looks like it all shut off well let's go ahead and see if we can sneak this guy in up here it's kind of tricky now i have to get it there see that nice now we need to slide that coupling down onto here Goes. right about there i got that all set and ready to go to solder let's go ahead and take the handle off all right before we take the handle off when we get soldering we'll make sure this is nice and aesthetically pleasing perpendicular and all that other good stuff Get yourself a little wrench we're going to take the handle off only because we do not want to burn this nice pretty handle when we put heat on it Take your time. Nobody's in a rush here. Get that handle off and make sure you're in the proper position and then just take it off like that. Now we're ready to heat this thing up and get it soldered. Let's go ahead and um, put this handle back on where it goes right there. Get a little lock washer as well as the nut. Bang, there you go. Nice new shut off valve there made by Wolverine Brass. None of that old stuff is just a regular ball valve. Up and down, aesthetically pleasing. 
All right, I got one more to do on the other side. I'm not gonna waste your time on that. I just wanted to kind of share with you some of the little tricks of doing these kind of valves, especially if you're in a coastal area where it's got salt air and stuff and how to prep them and put them together successfully. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the water on here in our next scene. We're gonna make sure we have no leaks. All right, second side on as well. We're gonna get ready to go out to the meter, cut the water on, make sure we got no leaks. So both of the valves on each side of this church are in the off position. My partner said not to the street to turn the water meter on. All right, let's go ahead and check this one. All right, I'm gonna stick it off. Check our joints for any leaks. Everything look good. No leaky leaks. Awesome. Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. A lot of you guys have seen me do these valves before, so it's nothing new. But I have a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new traffic that's coming into this channel. And I want to make sure to touch bases on some of these important jobs that we do, such as soldering and replacing water main shutoffs on the outside of your building and stuff. And if you got any questions, leave them down below. Thanks so much. And don't forget about Wolverine Brass and their great products as well as Plum Master and go check their products out really good price value great quality and tell them tim the plumber sent you and don't forget to keep plumbing